Silence, Kitty! I have to entertain the internet! Because, uh, this is Let's Play Resume 4 and stuff. Okay, let's, um, let's get some green herbs. And get some money. And get some action. And figure out what that noise is. It's, it's actually a very important noise. We gotta kill this crow. I don't know if this happens every time, but this particular crow, every time I play, drops something very nice. Something he wants. And we got that crow that just drops money. Not so nice, but nevertheless, we'll take it. Money will be important soon enough. But yeah, that's right, we got a hand grenade. Oh, we're gonna want that. It's gonna be very important for an upcoming part later in this video. And we got a dog! We freed a dog. Doesn't that make you feel good inside? Oh, man. I free you, dog! There was a Let's Play that featured a dog. I named him Bacon. He was my buddy and sidekick. I miss Bacon. Oh, well. Let's stop reminiscing about other Let's Plays that I've done. We gotta continue on with this game of shooting traps. That's right, we got we two types of traps. Or at least two known sorts of traps. We got a guy who's on our butt right now because he's, I don't know, he's pissed off. He doesn't like us. He's a hostile local. We gotta neutralize him. Anyways, we've got bear traps. As far as I know, these guys, they have like special avoiding their own trap powers, except for the wire bomb. Oh man, this is already neutralized. That's good. We got two types of traps that I know so far. There might be another one later on, but I don't think there is. There's wire bomb traps, which will explode. It's funny when they run into those because they're <laughs> just shows how brilliant they are. We got the bear traps. Bear traps, as far as I know, they won't. It won't affect them much. Like, they can walk through it, they clip right through it, it doesn't hurt them. But it hurts us significantly. Because we become like that dog. We don't want to become like that dog. Avoid bear traps. It's not good, viewers. We got two hostile locals here. So we're gonna kick them. We're gonna not get that. We're not gonna get slashed by an axe. It'd be good not to get slashed by an axe. Did, did I already neutralize him? Jesus! I want to say I'm not very confident at this whole FPS thing, but I'm like disproving it right and left. I mean, I'm 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 really lucky, viewers. I'm, I'm trying to tell you I'm not that confident, okay? I'm not that. Okay, there you go. See it? There's my not confidence shining right there. So you know, we're, I'm just gonna miss a couple times, maybe shoot him not in the head, and then shoot him in one bullet and kill him. Great. I'm going to have a lot of those contradicting parts where I say I'm not competent, all of a sudden, bam, I'm good, and then I suck, and then I'm good, and I suck where it's not, where, where I need to be competent, and I'm good where it doesn't even matter. Ugh, whatever, I don't, it's village time. Time to go to the village, viewers. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Leanne's a nice guy to say I'll take a look at it. I'm a bastard to say that I don't even need to take a look at it. I know how to do all these things. We know how to do all this. This is useless. This is garbage. Why would you even send that hunting again? Jesus. So we got a village here. Mmm. Aqua. I'm killing my voice with doing all this commentary. Whatever. We can zoom in. We see a dead policeman. That's great. We see a bunch of locals. Surely they'll open us with... They'll welcome us with open arms. Saying, welcome to the village. Here, have some of the local delicacies. And nothing bad will happen. Except, you know, I'm just gonna sneak behind everyone going to this house. I avoided conflict, that's great. I mean, I avoided their hospitality. They're not hostile, they are very, uh, hospitable. Yes. They're going to be very friendly, aren't they? Incendiary great grenade. Oh man, look at all this ammo. Jesus, you think with all these handgun bullets and grenades and money, they'd be able to hire a militia or something. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Smells like rotting meat. Oh man. These guys need to be more cleanly. They really are rural. This is like third world right here. Maybe second world. 
Oh man, that guy was trying to give us a hug! I just ran past him! So now that we've been spotted, everyone wants to kill us. I mean, welcome us. But you know, I, I'm just, I, I have issues. I've been hurt one too many times by the locals already. So, you know, I consider everyone hostile, you know. I mean, sure, they're just running up to us. They're trying to welcome us. They're probably going to throw a parade or something because we're from America. And as we all know, America is a very ambitious and, and, and superficial and ridiculous. And no one likes America. And why am I from America? Son of a... I'm just kidding, viewers. I love America. It's my country. I was born and raised here. But I'm, I'm just saying, there's other countries that are pretty awesome that I'd like to visit, you know. I, I, I gotta explore, viewers. That's what Gildemore needs to do. He needs to branch out, spread his wings, and fly away. Go to the rural country like this. Except maybe not this one. They're pretty hostile. I mean, pretty welcoming. Too welcoming. I mean, they're they're trying to get to know us a little too much. They're a little too personal. They're opening up the parade, and look at that. They got chainsaw. Oh man. I hope they want to give us that and not you know use it on us. That that would be terrible. Anyways, so welcome to the survival part of Resident Evil 4. This is definitely horrific. I mean, I would hate to be in this situation where. You know, I'm being chased by 5,000 villagers and a chainsaw. Which, by the way, that chainsaw one hit kill, you'll die. But, uh, like I said, hand grenades and everything, pretty useful. If you want to survive this, go into every structure. They have stuff. You can use it to your advantage. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm just gonna use what I got. That guy was gonna kill us. I don't like this. I'm running away. I, I, well, actually, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to group them into one thing so I can just throw a grenade and all of a sudden they go boom, explode. It's fantastic. See how they're all kind of grouped together? See how I did that? That's how you win, viewers. That's how you win. This whole village is um, not as happy as I wish it was. And also, when they drop stuff, it's very important that you pick it up. Because it'll go away and you'll miss out, and if it's like shotgun bullets, well, let's face it, you want shotgun bullets! Oh, by the way, the reason we went into that house was to get the shotgun. I totally kind of glanced over that. I, I might as well just say it right now. Shotgun, shoddy right here, he is amazing! Oh man, he can like blow heads off, he can pretty much knock down hordes. You see this guy? He knocks him down! Yes, that's right, the horrific. Son of a gun that's trying to kill us. Well, we can pretty much knock him down with shoddy over here. Bam! Headshot. He does not die with headshot though. It's kind of. But you see, we got other guys. Yeah, we take care of them, so we're in good shape. Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Where's everyone going? Bingo? 